Hi all and welcome back to the channel and I hope you're all doing okay. Just a couple of things to cover today because one of them actually I was thinking about after or was it during the Las Vegas Grand Prix weekend where I think it was George, George Russell who said that he'd fallen asleep or had a nap four times in a day and woke up and didn't know what time it was. And it did get me thinking and I'm going to cover something that George has said recently and also it's quite important to what I'm going to start off with which is Christian Horner. So Christian Horner believes that Red Bull's car will go down as one of the best to ever race in F1 after breaking many long-standing records this year. Horner told the F1 website this car is going to go down in the history books as a very very special car. To have won 21 races out of the 22, just missing out in Singapore leaves room for improvement. But I mean, what a year. I think more than anything for all the men and women behind the scenes back at the factory across the whole business. All of the support staff as well have made this happen. They have played their role in making and delivering this car and operating it. And then we come on to what George said. And George Russell has thrown the support behind the idea of banning F1 staff members from working at every Grand Prix throughout the seasons. He explained after the race in Abu Dhabi, Drivers have it best from every single person in this paddock. The way we travel. We are in a very fortunate position, but everybody up and down the paddock, I've got so many mechanics who are ill. People in the engineer's office are just really struggling with the constant time zone shifts. The body not knowing where you are, eating at different times, staying in different hotels, different environments, different climates. The body's getting confused. I think there are talks for next year about personnel being regulated that they can't do every single race. I think that would be a good thing. And interestingly, you know, I've often wondered, I, with, with Drive to Survive, for example, they, they focus on Formula One and I get that, but... It would be nice to see all the men and women behind the scenes that play a huge part in a Formula One weekend, in a race weekend. Why don't they do a documentary on that unless there is one and I've missed it? But you know, I'll stop rambling on about that. And sticking with George Russell, he had quite a heavy impact in the post-race Pirelli tyre test in Abu Dhabi. After completing 58 laps, a suspected component failure caused him to crash at turn 6, which brought out the red flags. After the crash, Mercedes said Russell had emerged from the accident unscathed. That was lucky. Maybe the components were at the end of their natural life, you know, that they run them for. But luckily, he was all right. But then we come on to Damon Hill. Because Damon Hill has expressed concern at Lewis Hamilton's lack of optimism ahead of the 2024 season. Hamilton appeared downbeat after finishing ninth at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix which will put pressure on the team to produce a competitive car. Hill said, I mean, Lewis is often like that after a race that has not delivered what he wanted. It's been a long, hard year. He'll bounce back after that. But the worrying thing is when interviewer Rachel Brooks asked him about hope on what's coming, he wasn't effervescent about it. I think on reflection, I'm sure they will come back. They've got to have learnt something from the last two seasons. And yeah, without a doubt, they must have learned that this W14, W13 was just never, ever going to work. Why they stuck with that design with the W14, I have absolutely no idea. But as we've, as I've covered before on here, uh, Toto Wolf has said that the car that George and Lewis are driving next year will be very different to what they've been driving this year and last year so really I, I can't wait to see the car reveals that's one thing I do like and I'll be covering those on the channel as and when they happen hopefully as quick as possible because something about it just excites me and I should imagine it'll be quite early this year because we're probably looking at middle of January uh, I think it was Haas last year that revealed theirs just at the end of January and obviously the season starts a little bit earlier next year because obviously there's 24 races to come god I gotta stop waffling I'm sorry I, I do talk a lot but Anyway, <laughs> if you do like what I do, please like and subscribe. It really does mean a lot to me. And thank you again for your support. And also press the notification button. And that way you'll get warnings of my future uploads. And until the next time, take care.